What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil. This is Sam. We're Bars and Barbells as a team. And who do we have today? Black Sabbath. Black Sabbath is joining us for a reaction. And uh, we're doing After Forever. Yes. And we're doing this in light of Easter. Easter. Black Sabbath on Easter? What? Yeah, I, I was like, what do you mean? That's kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, so this is apparently a Christian-themed song that challenges people to look at their faith and uh, spirituality so life after death yeah so that's what we gathered from the song we have no idea what to expect other than that but yeah. um i was just going through and trying to find some songs that may be relevant to that time of year and black sabbath came up and i was like what wait what <laughs> It seems right. a little bit strange. Because we've done uh, War Pigs, which was cool. That was kind of a deeper hitting message I like that song. One. That was cool. Yeah. I, 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 liked, I liked all the Black Sabbath ones so far. I think like... We started with Paranoid and yeah. we did Iron Man was the other one. What were you going to say? Yeah. I think War Pigs has been my favorite so far. War Pigs. Yeah. Like yeah. I said, a little more introspective with that one as well. So yeah. maybe that would be along, along those lines. I really liked Iron Man. That one was really, really cool. Yeah, that was cool too. The sounds that they had in that yeah. one were so creative. And then the lyrical representation of telling the story. So, you know, it's been a while since we did some Black Sabbath. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know, why not come back to it and see Bring if we get a little shock factor from Black Sabbath on yeah. Easter. Anyways, um, I'm, I'm looking forward to another one. Anything else you want to add before we start? No, I'm ready to get into it. Let's roll, guys.
fire. This is a banger. We got a banger from Black Sabbath. I'm so <laughs> glad that we've come back to Black Sabbath. I forgot how good these guitar riffs are. Yeah, and I like how they change up the like the sound of the guitar back and forth. They're kind of like switching up the way that um, like the timing and stuff is with it, but it still all flows with a really good groove. Yeah, well, they've done that a few times where they've had multiple riff um, compositions that they've used throughout mm-hmm. the song. They've like gone back, back and, and forth. forth between a couple. Yeah. I can't remember the song specifically cause it's been a while since we've done them, but, um, I know they like to switch it up and add some diversity and keep that groove. Like you were saying, when they do such a fantastic job, I like as well, how they shift that groove, the electric guitar groove, and they kind of fade it out with the bass groove, but yeah. they mesh and blend really, really well together. And it keeps that seamless groove that we're talking about intact. So that sounds great. And then obviously lyrics are really really cool because so much of it i feel like is still applicable right yeah. like this really was highlighting like how people are somewhat scared to acknowledge that they believe in god or to kind of take that path because of what other people might think and yeah well this is like over 50 years old now yeah right and so you hear a lot of the conversations like even that line that he said about you might as well just worship the sun mm-hmm. right that's something that you hear talked about all the time is you know i think we did um the george carlin yeah um, sun god the uh, religion is BS one that he yeah. talked about, right? And he said, like, he started, he talked about how he was worshiping the sun instead in that one, right? Yeah. And um, so I just found it ironic that that was being said back then. And those were similar criticisms that people had. And uh, he was kind of, you know, saying uh, how people, similar to today as well, the sheep aspect, right, is like, yep. You know, you need to do what society kind of tells you to and that believing in that means you're unintelligent or whatever it is. So in light of the lyrics in this song, right, it's like people questioning your faith and the whole messaging of the song itself is question, you know, the idea of it, which I think is really, really cool. It's a great way to put together this song. They're not really telling you to do anything. No, no, they're just telling you to open your mind and and figure out what aligns with you, not what everybody else is telling you. Critical thinking, right? Have some critical thinking in the process. Think for yourself. Yeah which I love. And, um, and then they're saying, you know, like, you know, don't be scared if you do have uh, an affinity to follow your belief and people are questioning that, you know, make the own decision, your own decision. So lyrically really, really cool. Anyways, I've been rambling for a long time here, Sam, what are your thoughts? (laughs) I really like it. Like I said, I think that it's really cool how it goes back and forth with that guitar riff and brings a lot of energy to the song. I feel like, and I also feel like it's really cool to have a song with this kind of Christian or religious basis that is a little bit of a heavier sound because I feel like a lot of at least a lot of what I've heard up to this point is more of like on the gospel side of religious music right so I feel like that's very different than Mm -hmm. this um, so, I mean, I've recently been introduced to Christian rap, which has been quite, kind of cool, but, um, this is just like, you know, very different. I feel like from that sound of talking about spirituality and God, like you don't very often hear like heavy metal or hard rock associated with that. So. Yeah. And I don't know. I mean, this is our first listen, so I might've missed something, but I don't really think I heard anything where he specified what religious aspects he might've been referring to. Right. Well, he did talk about Pope. Did he say, oh, he said yeah. the Pope, right. That's right. That actually reminds me because I was... I was actually kind of not paying attention to some of the lyrics for a second there when he was talking about that because he was using a pretty cool rhyme scheme. Yeah. He had he had your uh you know at the Pope rhyme rope Pardon? He said like Pope at the end of a rope. Yeah, but he was using like a multi-dynamic rhyme scheme in that he was rhyming words in the second bar with the first bar, Mm -hmm. which is like a hip hop scheme that they use. So that was really, really cool to see his rhyme patterns were even pretty complex. Yeah. So it wasn't just some, you know, straightforward lyrics. It was like, if you go back and listen to it again, maybe we'll see some more. (laughs) He had, like I said, some pretty cool writing in there overall. So I'm really, really loving this one. Yeah, no, I think it's great so far. All right. Well, let's run it back so we can hear more of it. Um, Great song from Black Sabbath so far.
Switcher. Loved it. Super, super well done by Black Sabbath. I thought that all around guitar work was great. Drum work was great. Lyricism was great. Yeah, vocal was performance was great. And like you said, the creativity to make a heavy metal song mm-hmm. in this light was was very, yeah. very unique. I think this is my favorite one that we've done by them so far. Really? Yeah. Why? I just liked it all around. Like, I feel like it, the, the lyrics and stuff are, are like, I can resonate the most with this out of all of them. Mm-hmm. I also feel like I said, it was just a really great sound. I really liked that, like back and forth with the, the different riffs, but it all fit together so well. You could keep a good groove. And, uh, you know, I would say before I, I, I still really like War Pigs, but I feel like this just kind of trumped that one a little bit. Yeah, it was great. I really, really enjoyed this one. And like I said, I'm so glad that we came back to Black Mm -hmm. Sabbath because it really showed their musicianship on this one, um, their creativity, uh, their ability to approach a subject maybe that wasn't done before in this light. So um, really, really impressed. And uh, it's been a while, but maybe we should continue down this path of Black yeah, Sabbath so let again. let us know where we should go next. Yeah, let us know what your thoughts on this song, if this was controversial at the time when they released it. Um, I also think it's interesting that, you know, they were, we first got into Black Sabbath and we weren't sure uh, what they represented, right? Like you hear these things about heavy metal. Right. And Black Sabbath was deemed a pioneer of heavy metal. Yeah. And I think people talked about them being a satanic band or satanic group. And I think we were even unsure. I can't remember when we first started. We don't know what we're getting getting into and what are the rumors that are out there. And, um, you know, we obviously approached it with an open mind, but it would have been easy to have a closed mind. Oh, for sure. Back then. Yeah. And I think, you know, this is pretty cool that you have this band that was deemed a group or a group that was deemed satanic by, you know, the going media and then they come out with a song like Like this this. to say like hold the phone here (laughs) this is not true and they did it in such a well done way yeah no i thought they did awesome way and like you said you don't really have to be on one side of the fence it just it provokes you to think about it a little bit more which is cool yeah no i think it's great because i think it was uh uh like i said tackling a subject that they were talked about in and they did it in a productive light so i love this one let us know what you guys think in the comments below hit that like button before you go and make sure you hit the subscribe and notification bell as well see i'm going off of (laughs) your own scheme aussie schemes here got me going so yeah um anything you want to add sam before before we go no i thought it was great i'd love to know where we should go next so make sure you drop those in the comments all right guys hope you had a great day hope you have a great day tomorrow and we'll see you then see you guys in the next one